Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Versailles 1919, the 100th anniversary uh, edition, which actually probably came out in 2020. Um, so slightly off, but it commemorates the 100th anniversary. It's by Mark Herman and Jeff Engelstein. Um, so this is um, very solo friendly. Uh, it's got bots in it. Yay! But uh, this is kind of similar to... Um, uh, the, it's kind of similar to Churchill where you're bidding on issues and things like that, but it's also plays a little more like um, Mark Roman's later game, Peloponnesian War, where you do side switching. So if I'm, under, if I'm understanding it correctly, where you, um, you eventually have to switch. If you're too far ahead, you have to switch and become the losing, uh, losing side and try to do your best there for that team. So anyway, it's a nice big, big box, lots of historic artwork. And so take you back to the beginning of World War II and Woodrow Wilson, what a winner he was. But anyway, they gave us the Versailles Treaty, which Hitler used later to uh, rise to power. So let's take a look at this anyway and see what we get inside the box. Perhaps if you got a time machine, everybody wants to go back and assassinate Hitler. Maybe you should go back in time and just stop this from happening. But uh, it's a different, different topic. So anyway, history is history. All right, so here we go. Right on top we have a small deck of cards. The Uprising check. And we'll take a look at this. After first successful uprising, draft strategy cards. See that much there. But I don't know what this is about. That's why we're learning it together. All right, here's a Versailles strategy card. I'm wondering if these might be reprints. Errata, they got thrown in after a correction. I don't know much about the history of this, but maybe it's not. Don't, don't hold me to that till we get further. So we got uprising checks. And we got a couple of issue cards here. We got Ethiopia and Togoland and Cameroon. So these are two issue cards. And since they're numbered 28 and 30, and this is number 10, I'm going to assume that these are probably errata, and we will find out shortly. They're very good about holding. Like if they find there's a problem, they'll GMT will hold a shipment and try to get it fixed. So let's see what those are. So anyway, now we got the playbook which is usually where the scenarios are. Um, we have design notes from both Mark and Jeff, which is cool. It has a comprehensive example of play, a uh, solitary example uh, of play, or Sauron goes to Paris, that's pretty funny, and commentary on the issue cards. So the playbook is actually more of a, of a uh, detailed walkthrough. It's full color, a lot of examples. Uh, usual great GMT printing style. I don't know who their printer is, but they do a, they do a wonderful job with clarity of images and uh, you know clarity of rules writing. Uh, one note I saw on the back is uh, um, Kay Jensen was the rules editor on this, and she obviously is very well experienced, being the unfortunately the widow of Chad Jensen and and his partner in crime and creating all those great rules. So. I'm sure this is going to be very easy to learn. Whether I'm any good at it is a different matter. So the rules of play. The rule play book comes in at 20 pages. So not very big at all. And the uh, about 15 pages of real rules and two player rules and solitaire rules. You've got four sides going here. So again, full color. Starts with a description of the components. Go on and on, on and explains everything you need to do. The solo rules start on page, as we said, page 17 and are just a couple of pages long, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, well, I was saying, whenever an issue is unsettled, either through an uprising or an event, the player immediately switches to controlling the faction with the lowest strength. If there is a tie, the player may choose which faction you wish to control. So when you're playing solo, you got to be fair, I guess. So there we go. 
And we have a solo player aid card right here. Single-sided. Usually the faction icons, the priorities. It definitely seems a lot smoother than a coin bot would be. And now we got our counter sheets. And it's very counter light, unless there's some hidden down here. It's one sheet of counters. And they're the nice pre-rounded counters. There is a apparently a, just a single sheet of counters, which is pretty cool. So we'll put those there. And then they give us a scoring pad. Very, very uh, well produced. Is this could have just been a plain black and white uh, pad, and here you've got the uh, you've got all the um, logo, of course, and the flags, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool. So it's UK, USA, Italy, and France. In case you didn't get that from the leaders, then we've got a game board that is in a baggie, sanitized for your protection. And this is a this is a full size you know, 20. 22 by 34 game board. It's eight panels. So we're, you know, we'll open that and take a tour of that in a little bit. So indulge me there. All right. So then we have the deck of, deck of regular size cards and then a large size uh, issues deck, which corresponds to the ones that we opened earlier. And then we've got one die, just one single die here, and it's black and blue. So it's excited. And it's interesting, it's got the blue pips in it. So clearly works. Put that off to the side. Just put that there. All right. And then I'm not going to bother opening these. There's an assortment of red and yellow and blue and white uh, cubes and discs. So should they need something? All right, because with GMT, cubes and discs mean everything. So we'll take a look at these first, since we've already had a sneak peek at some of them. And like I said, I think, because here's some Uprising check cards in here as well. So I'm pretty sure that those which we pulled out first are going to be errata. So let's compare. This is the new. And then this is the old. So we will do some sleuthing. Old is on the right. I gotta remember that. So. Do, 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 do. Well, they look 100% identical. No. Nope. Found it. If die roll is greater than or equal to the uprising number. Here's die roll greater than uprising. So on the other side, so that's that's just you know GMT quality. They missed something and they fixed it and got it out to you before you got it. If you you know if you had already ordered it, they sent it to you, and if you've um, if you waited, they put it in there. All right, this was old, so that can go there. These can go here. So then I'm sure that there's something different about these, these issue cards and the regional competition that's probably in this deck of cards too. So now I'll keep these separate so I can remember which are the right ones and which are the wrong ones. All right, so we have our uprising check cards, which we just looked at. And then we've got our issues deck. And these, I guess, are just a large oversized uh, deck. So if you want to sleeve them to make shuffling easier. So we've got, these are the issues you're dealing with. The Rhineland, Prussia, High Seas Fleet, the Sudetenland, Kiel Canal, Silesia, Disarmament, so on and on and on. And there are 53 issues here in this deck. So 53 different sets that you can uh, dispute and bid on in this game. All right, and then we've got these other cards, the smaller cards. And if it's like Churchill, then these are the cards you play to, you know, each country has a deck of cards, but again, I don't want to compare it too much to Churchill just because it's got the same designer and deals with war uh, strategy, 
or a treaty meeting. So, but we do, let's see, let's take a look. We have the active player card. Nice little graphics there on the peace treaty at Versailles. It was signed with Waterman's Ideal Fountain Pen. So nice little ad reproduction here. So then we've got, yeah, we got cards for in brown. Strategy cards. There's a good picture of young Churchill. And then we've got events. Okay. So what was that card that we had there before? I lost it. But anyway. So these are the different events that will occur. Such as we have an uprising check. There will be uprising checks here. Let's get past all those. Remove one unrest from a region of the issue being settled. Uprising check of no issue unsettled, add one unrest, so on and so forth. Remove one powder keg from a random region. There's Lawrence of Arabia, right there. And the real one, right? It's not Peter O'Toole. All right, so you got that deck of cards there. There are 46 of those. And then some strategy cards contain communism. Global trade is regional competition. That was the card we had before. So this is obviously the old and the new one is there as well, card 10. So, all right. All right, so here's a quick look at the board for 1919 Versailles or Versailles 1919. This is the issues uh, display here. Coming down to the what's issues are on the table. You've also got your uh, see this exhausted influence in military. The, des the design, the, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, the design, I guess. The graphic design, there you go. So the graphic design of this is really nice. It really evokes that feel of uh, pre-20s uh, style. Um, just in terms of font choices and graphics and and you know the imagery and everything. Although these people saw everything in color, but uh, you know we see them in black and white because that's what we've got. So um, as big as the board is, too, you'll see over here that the strategy cards will go off off board even. So for two players up to here, three players, a few more, four players, even more. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, Mark Herman's a great designer. Jeff Engelstein is a, uh, is, is as well. Um, very excited to see how this one plays out. And I love that it's solo friendly. So, all right, so that's the board. And now we'll do a recap of what you get in the box and, uh, close it up. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Versailles 1919 by, uh, GMT Games, designed by Mark Herman and Jeff Engelstein, you're going to get... A small, a standard size deck of cards with strategy and events. You're going to get an oversized deck of cards with uh, uprising check uh, rule, you know, rule reminders. You're going to get a 53 card deck of uh, issues that you have to, uh, that you're arguing about. You're going to get a bag of cubes and discs. One die. I assume that everybody gets the black and blue one, but maybe those are just random. The active player card has a pen and an ad. You're gonna get a scoring pad. You're gonna get the one sheet of counters, the solo player aid, the rules of play book. The, if you order it more currently, you'll get the uh, errata cards. You'll get the playbook. And you'll get that nice big board we looked at, game board. And that will be everything that comes in Versailles 1919, 100th Anniversary Edition by GMT Games. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!